is also the digestive system model. This is the older model, but you'll be responsible to know the information on this. This is the same as the other one. This is the oral cavity. This whole tube right here is the pharynx. The pharynx is broken down into three sections. The um, nasal pharynx, the oral pharynx, and the laryngeal pharynx. On the pharynx, it's connected then to the esophagus. This is the lower esophageal sphincter, also known as the cardiac sphincter. This entire organ here is the stomach. There's parts to the stomach. This is the fundus of the stomach. The main part is the body of the stomach and the pylorus of the stomach. The, there's a sphincter between the stomach and the small intestine. The sphincter is called the pyloric sphincter. There are two curvatures. This is the lesser curvature of the stomach. This is the greater curvature of the stomach. Here is the lower esophageal sphincter. Right here, this part is the cardia of the stomach. Here is the fundus of the stomach. Inside of the stomach, you have folds. Individually, each fold is called a ruga. Plural is rugae. Pylorus, and then the pyloric sphincter. The stomach is connected to the small intestine. The small intestine has three sections. From here to, from here, to here to the back is called the duodenum, duodenum, also known as the duodenum. And then this part right here, all of these sections here, is the jejunum. And then from here to here, this section going into, leading into the large intestine is called the, il the ileum. So three sections, the du duodenum, or duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. D J I. The large intestine, we call this gray portion. Three sections, oh no, actually more than three. Um, this right here is the cecum. The extension of the cecum coming down, that's the appendix. Going up from the cecum, all this structure here, all this part of the large intestine is called the ascending colon. Ascending colon, and here to here is the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon is going to be posterior, so you can't see that, then down to the rectum, and down to the anus. The accessory structures, accessory organs, and glands of the GI tract, well, then the, all of this is the liver. Okay, the liver has a few lobes, we'll learn that in the lecture. This right here is the gallbladder found posterior to the right lobe of the liver. This here is the pancreas, and this is the spleen. The larynx is from here to here. The larynx is going to be found anterior to the esophagus. The larynx is connected to the trachea, not shown.